Hello friends! Welcome to my channel, or welcome back as the case may be. We're going to do another Inuit myth today. This time it is the blind boy and the narwhals. This tale is about how narwhal got its twisted horn, and it is common along a major portions of the North American continent, particularly up in the uh, Alaska, Canada areas. And the story is as follows. Once there was a blind boy whose mother was very cruel to him. Even though he helped kill a polar bear that was harassing the tribe, his mother would not allow him to have any of the meat. He could smell the succulent meat, but she refused to give him any. His younger sister, seeing this, hid some beneath her clothes to share with him later. As his mother's cruelty continued throughout the years, the boy resolved to kill his mother. Sometime later, when the boy was outside, he encountered an enormous loon. The loon grabbed him by the, the scruff of his shirt and flew him out over the waters. The loon then dove deep into the water and rise <laughs> and rose back up. It continued dipping the boy into the water three more times until the boy's eyesight was restored. His vision was not only restored, however, it was so good that he could see long ways off, much further than the other members of the tribe. So far that from the place the loon deposited, deposited him on the shore, he could see his mother preparing to hunt Narwhal. That evening when he returned home, his mother noticed he could see. She grew afraid, knowing how she had behaved poorly towards him, knowing that he was now capable of retribution. Now that he was capable of sight, he joined in the hunts, and one day soon after restoring his vision, he assisted his mother in hunting the narwhal. So as to not lose their harpoons, it was tradition among this tribe to tie a rope to the end of the spears, and then tie that rope around the waist. As his mother was still larger than him, she tied the javelin round her waist, but to give her son experience, had him throw it, fearing that a large narwhal might draw her into the ocean after it. She gave her son strict instructions to only strike the smallest of the whales. Thus he did, and soon they were feasting on the blubber and meat of the first whale they drew to shore. The boy was patient, and he went out hunting with her more times, letting her grow confident that he would always follow her instructions. But eventually, he saw a narwhal that was sufficiently large, and he was confident that if he struck that whale with the javelin, it would drag his cruel mother out to sea. So he waited and aimed, and his javelin struck true. With a great shriek, his mother was drawn into the ocean after the whale. She yelled for her son to toss her a knife that she may free herself, but he refused, and the cruel woman was drowned. Then the woman became a narwhal herself. Her long braid floated forward to the front of her head, elongated and grew into a twisted horn. From then on, to this day, narwhals have twisted horns. I hope you enjoyed the story. I know that I'm enjoying being able to actually research more and, and study more of these stories. Um, so much so that I've ordered a whole bunch more books in this series to help me learn about other portions of the world, too. So if you've been enjoying these, leave a like, comment, and if you've really enjoyed them, go ahead and subscribe so that you can keep coming back. And that being said, until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.